What is up everyone, Nico here and today we're going to be unboxing the HP Victus, so stay tuned for that guys. But let's quickly have a look at the box and the specifications of this machine. Quickly having a look at the specifications, this is a Victus by HP. It's the model number 16-D0019NI. It is a, a Core i5-11400H. It's got 512 gigabyte storage. Now this is the base model. This is being upgraded to one uh, terabyte. Uh, we've got 16 gigabytes of memory, DDR4. It's got no optical drive, Windows 11, and it's got a 16.1 full HD IPS panel display that can do 144 Hertz refresh rate. And it's got NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti 4 gigabyte. As well as we can see, it's got a four cell battery that'll give you 70 watt hours. So let's quickly get this unpacked and I'll show you the machine. So I took it out of the box. What you get in the box is, first of all, you get this product information. This has got everything you need. You can open it up and read through it. You get a normal kettle plug, three prong kettle plug. You get the charger, which is this nice little brick. It's not too big, but it's not a small brick. Um, let's quickly have a look at the, the specifications of it. There we go. The output of it. You guys can check that out. And it's got the HP Classic, the HP Bluepoint with a little pin in the middle. All right. And then we get the star of the show, the HP laptop itself, the Victus. Now this, guys, is a very, very nice machine. There's a bit of information, but let's start on the side. On the side, we get two USB 3. Let's just focus. Two USB 3s on that side. On the other side of the laptop, we get a Type C. We get another USB 3. We get HDMI out. We get Gigabit LAN, and we've got the power um, connector. At the back, we don't have anything, just vents for the notebook itself. And at the bottom, we also have two massive vents. So I don't believe you will experience any thermal throttling on this machine at all. So let's open up this laptop and see what it looks like. Let's take this off. Oh, there you can see a nice Victus logo. You can also see uh, what it says there, Victus. And it's got the 144 hertz uh, refresh rate display sticker right there. Now having a look at the keyboard, it's a full keyboard, which is very nice. You've got your, um, what do they call this, your numpad there as well. And the power button is quite an odd place, but yeah, there it is. Okay guys, so this assembly of this laptop is really, really easy. Um, you've got four screws at the bottom, four screws at the top. I did use my iFixit driver and the screw that we or the screwdriver that we used the bit was the J00. So you take out that screws and then you just unclip it. It clips it unclips very easily. And there we've got the inside of the laptop itself. So we've got the two memory modules. So you've got two uh, memory slots on this laptop. You see we've got ample cooling here. And then we have spots for two NVMe drives. So because this unit was an upgraded unit to one terabyte, the 512 is not in this machine anymore, only the um, one terabyte. So let's quickly insert the one terabyte. So what you do is you just unscrew, unscrew the shield, you lift it up and you take it out. What it looks like it's got a small heat pad there so um, it can dissipate the heat from the drive itself we take our one terabyte nvme we insert it then we lower it down we take our shield we can just place it on that making sure 
the whole aligns and then we forced in the screw here we go so that's forced in and that one is also um, there we've got that's the wi-fi and bluetooth cord and yeah there we can see the battery um, very easy to disassemble so when you want to upgrade it yourself uh, very very easy hey guys so the machine is set up and i'm gonna quickly have you guys have a listen at the sound quality now this is not the best way to test it but you guys can get an idea of what it sounds like so let's get into it so we did the audio test so let's quickly run Geekbench 5 and see what kind of results we get Alright, so there we have the single score score and the multi core score. So you guys can have a look at that. But let's quickly do the complete benchmark as well. So there we have the compute benchmark of uh, 68,663. All right, guys, so that's it for this unboxing episode. This was unboxing and a little bit more information about the laptop. I think this HP is a very, very great um, budget option. It's not too expensive. In South Africa, they go for around 17K, uh, which is not that expensive if you consider everything that you get. It is a budget laptop, but it is a very, very good quality laptop, and I would definitely recommend it. It's, it's going to work awesome for editing and also a bit of gameplay You're not going to smash records with triple a game titles but it's a very good laptop um, yeah so thank you for watching please like comment share and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in the next unboxing video so cheers everyone